this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oh. Hey, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Old underground tech. Without the tinkerer, they were picked apart like vultures. I'll let Miles know we can put this stuff to better use. Fireworks! Probably without a permit. I should warn those folks that that's illegal in New York. Hey guys, I'm assuming you don't have a permit. Oh! Mike! Mike! He's still breathing, but I can take him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? If I had to guess, he's only unconscious. But I better move fast just in case. Ah! Where am I? Spider-Man! You're okay. I'm just taking you to a hospital. And feel obligated to point out that personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, well, we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them. So we try to launch a few around his birthday. I'm sorry for your loss. Spider-Man? 
Wow. Now just sit tight and let the pros take it from here. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I know the spot you're talking about. I'll check it out. Hey, your brother's getting checked out now. He suggested I take a look at where you got your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. Good to know. Thanks. Well, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. I can't believe I'm stuck with these punks. <laughs> Look at me. Hey, Spider-Man! Hi! I'm in the market for some poorly made explosives. Think you can help? Yeah. Spiders here! Call the boys! We ain't losing! Spiders! Oh. <laughs> Fireworks are lit. To the river they go. Crap, the sparks lit two more. Just one crate left. Get that. Happy birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh, man. I hope Mike saw that in the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Just disposing of some illegal items. You guys take care. to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Beast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May's stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too <clears throat> romantic. I'll talk to you later. There it is. that somewhere else. Opened up plenty of these before.
Don't mind if I do. Right. They did come after his tech. Everything good, kid? Got a few unauthorized access attempts from my stash in the shipping yard. Yeah. That group that took Lee showed up. They must be real good if they found it. Even your dad wasn't able to. Dad? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and Prowler. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose him. Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. Never wanted him to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Stay safe, Unc. Same, man. Will do. I was wondering what this place was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. Welcome 
So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. The carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep! Oh, yeah! This is a reminder that you gotta protect the hive! Nice! Wow! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. 
Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. The latest employee of the origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Pardon me. Imagine coming to work here every day. It's almost too good to be true. Let's start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Wanna feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool! May would have loved this place. Did you do the XRF analysis? Uh, hey, what, if I needed what are you doing with these bikes? Attention. We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Wow. Guess this is what it's like working for an Osborne. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome to Anthropology. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the Energy Lab and the Agricultural Lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. There's so much to explore, but I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body.
You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rigor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project. And lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for understanding. See you soon. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. 
This is a reminder that Dr. Combs working group will begin in right. 15 minutes. Thank you. Go ahead. I really Swipe. Think we need more security. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. I forgot to tell you, some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right, good luck out there. Master playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Dev. Never seen anything like it. Hope Dr. Foster to. Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. 
be enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. There has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. Really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Okay, got some great samples. It's time to bring them together. that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Probably need to pull on that valve. Ugh, yikes, gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Check out that crystal now. It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall? I can relate. Bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. 
Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. For actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa! Is that a railgun that actually works? Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. Uh, but Scorpion is? Okay. Give him twice what you've received. You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Ride. 
gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta drop one of them away. Heard something. That's one. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. <clears throat> International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Connection's oh, good. and speaking Generators of work, green. I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic! We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. Sleepy. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it, a leave of absence, so I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my place afterwards and waited for him to come for me. But it was Craven who did. Asked me if I wanted to hunt real game. And here I am. Atta boy. What was that noise? That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? Why? Yes, it's loaded, so I'll join you soon. Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. I want them hungry. You hungry too? <coughs> Sweet dreams. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh. oh, sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice.
time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking fields operational. Beetles, talandrons, ammunition, rations. Hmm. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well connected. Or both. told me who you bet on outside Volgograd. His name does not deserve to be spoken. He thought his youth would give him the advantage. And he had lived there all his life. And the trail's perfect. It makes sense. But his age is what did him in. He got impatient. Against the one man who does not. You think another hunter will challenge Craven? Only if they are fools. around. Draven has given us the greatest hunt of our lives in this city. Take five. Where'd you go? to next. Looks like this is the only way. A research lab? Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal... Ugh. That's... the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some... Pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to... Riotea? Guess Craven could. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. I was worried Lee wouldn't have any spirit left in him after being locked away for so long. But man, he's like a coiled viper. It's all in his trial. Gargan was a born hunter, 
I hear you were not impressed by the Scorpio. <laughs> it's not that I wasn't impressed. Relying on hallucinogens and playing with your prey is just <clears throat> But you can still appreciate the Checking in. Anything to report? Now. You take a look at what is in this poison? You, check it out. Heading, Heading over now. No way Garg had played it himself. Maybe. But I never took it to be uh, strategic. And he surprised me. I noticed that you were Maybe. They're not here. Need support! We have a spider problem! Isa! He cannot defeat us both! I know that's you, Spider! Hunter's on me! We have a spider problem! Shh! The spider is here! Let us hunt! Aha! Uh -huh. I'm getting Spider-Man located! About! He won't go down! Some answers instead of questions right now. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't. <laughs> Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> nice, doggy, kitty, robot! Those teeth are no joke! 
guys putting together quite the team. This the best you can do. They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? 
My, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Look, next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. He's just on their list, too. Black Cat? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going to find Lee. I promise. What do you do? First of all, what is Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? That's perfect for Robbie. When my son was growing up, I helped coach his youth baseball team here. Every game we played, the parents talk more trash than the kids. Myself included. <coughs> to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, have time to Spider-Man. Sounds like you're as good at work-life balance as I am. I'm scrambling to finish my hunter story. I need to save my job. But you guys, what happened to Scorpion? Lee and the wind. I can't focus while he's out there, MJ. Don't. Don't let it eat you up. It might be best to just focus on the task at hand. That's not all. 
When I face Lee, I got some new powers. They're blue and weird. Uh, I mean, I'm no expert on spider powers, but... Could, could it be from stress? What you're going through, it, it's a lot. But you're not alone. Even Pete and I, we're still figuring it all out. One thing at a time, right? We'll find him. I know. Thanks, MJ. And Miles, be careful with Felicia. You can't trust her, no matter what she says. Warn her about the hunters and get her out of the city. Understood. Let you know when I get there. <laughs> I know I left my backpack around here somewhere. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Hey, Miles, over here. Hey, if it isn't Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks. You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn, but get this. <laughs> it's cake! I'll save you a slice. Hmm, thanks. Hey. <sighs> you made it. <sighs> I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She must get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. Gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I could find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yes. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen... Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps. Wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. I wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. 
Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Gotta be around here somewhere. Better do this quietly. Hey, yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? <laughs> Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Yankee! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production. But it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable. Trustworthy. Someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. And I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... uh that could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person. And clarify some things. Those guys out of the way. Let's see where that tracker signal leads. Like I told you, I'm working for Red Corporation. The signal's coming from the warehouse. Maybe she's in there. And tied me to a chair. How is this not already the hard way? Don't make me have to show. There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. Time to squash a spider. You're dead, Spider-Man. He's ours! You hide. I've got these guys.
extortion involves kidnapping. How am I supposed to let that slide? <laughs> <laughs> by yourself? That's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Uh, consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. Pete, you got a minute? I could use some perspective on our mutual friends. What'd Jonah do this time? Usually I can deal with him, but lately it's like he's determined to get under my skin. You're a veteran. Any advice? With Jonah, it's a never-ending war. Trust me, pick your battles. You'll learn how to tune him out eventually. I'm not sure I have that superpower, Spider-Man. I know I can't die on every hill, but... But you're Mary Jane Watson, defender of truth. A much cooler superpower. <laughs> but maybe you have to give an inch to get one? Ugh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Thanks, Parker. Anytime, Watson.
Hey, Chief. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that dead neighbor. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark. Did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. It's gonna be okay. Should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again? Spider-Man. Looks like I need to go up. So it's field testing time for my latest upgrade. Oh, shoot. It's going to pass, right? Hey, Clark. Did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. a new location your way but this guy said someone else is still trapped in here really I'm not missing anything else but if you can find them we'll get them out i'm on nobody here uh this will take some maneuvering Die today. You 
want to be a follower of the flame? Start trusting him! Follower of the flame? As soon as they're done with the deserter, we're out! The explosives will bury whatever's left of him and the evidence. Can I kill someone? I don't recognize them. What about the intruder that's been skulking around? They can't stop all of us. Now keep looking for supplies. We'll need them in the days ahead. Uh... The flame is disappointed in you. What are they? Oh no. I didn't say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. What's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Little life's call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. If I tried... Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. So Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. I need more eyes.
suffering through a litany of problems right now. Inflation through the roof, feckless government officials, and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Yet the worst, most insidious dilemma we face is that of the faceless. It seems another masked vigilante is bringing their illegitimate justice to the streets. All reports indicate an individual disguised in purple and sporting a take-no-prisoners approach to the illegal activities they perpetrate. Some of you have criticized the Spider-Man for not going far enough. But I can't believe what I'm saying. That's not in their jurisdiction. While they shouldn't be out there in the first place, at least they haven't sworn themselves as judge, jury, and executioner. We have systems in place for this people. If this new hero really wanted to enforce order to the fullest extent of the law, they'd join the police department. Why is it so hard for some people to follow the rules? This is the chaos the Spider-Men inspire. And why must I be the sentinel of statutes? Now, how about some action? <laughs> My sandy friend. These guys won't let up. Sand Crystal has my name all over. I find them, and they're waiting for me with all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? The hunters were after him. I get why Marco was anxious. Craven's toys freaked me out, too. What we got? Place looks like it was ransacked. Perfect chance to use the AR tech Genki upgraded. Scratch marks. Huh. Any sign of her? Found some scratch marks with traces of metal. I'll run it to see if it matches her claws. Just have to isolate the molecular components of the metal filings I found.
cobalt. This is looking good. Who says science isn't fun? Tungsten, a match. Did it. It's her. Scuff marks from her shoes. She must have been husked. She was grabbing something from that box on the wall. Looks like an emergency stash box. But it's empty. Hunters. That should be enough to reconstruct the scene. They attacked. But she's on the run. They're already on to her. This is exactly why the city needs to be warned about the hunters. She could have... Keep me posted. Whoa! Well, that's gotta be her. Well, this went from a friendly warning to a rescue mission pretty quick. I just hope I'm not too late. Alicia's resourceful, but everything we've seen from these hunters has me kind of worried. You're worried about your boyfriend's ex. That's compassion! Looks like I just missed them. Any signs of where they went? Let me scan the area and see. Electrical node. I bet there's more. Line was damaged by the explosion. I wonder what it powers. A generator? I wonder what it's supposed to power. Another stash box. This one's still locked. She risked her whole life to get to it. Gotta open it, but the power's disconnected. If I tether my web to the generator, I can get into the box. right nearly there that did it I'm in Paris MJ how's your French non-existent but send me what you got. Okay. There's some instruction manual for a Wanda Watoom. Watoom? Hmm. I'll do a search. Give me a sec. Hunters. Wherever they're headed, I should follow. According to a translation of the Mystic Arcana, that wand is old. We're talking BC old. Supposedly, whoever wields it can create portals to pretty much wherever they can pick up. Like magic? If she gets her hands on something like that. I can think of some uses for it. Miles, let's just stick to the plan. We're in position. She's ours. <laughs> Definitely inside. Gotta clear these hunters out. Whatever that wand does, it does it brightly.
don't like this. What is she up? This is all a dream. <gasps> doing magic in there or I'm missing out on a hell of a rave Thanks for your cooperation. I've heard rumors of weird things going on inside this building. Looks like the rumors are true. Don't stare at the light. What is she doing? inside Craven's Empire. Do you trust them? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. You should leave me, son. First we... There he is! Kill him! Spider's here! The French from that postcard translates to... My reason for living. Time is short. Hmm. A new partner? With Felicia? You never know. Something feels... What is that for a the last of them. Now let's see what's up with Felicia. Huh. Oh, that's a first. Little spider wants to play, huh? Magic is very real. What? What happened? 
Hey, Cat, can we talk? Will you slow down? Back off before I portal you into the Pacific Ocean. How'd you get on our comms? You're still using the old channel. Don't you have better things to do, kid? Felicia, you have to stop. This is reckless, even for you. Who's this? Is that you, Red? How are things with the old spider these days? Can you knock it off? I'm trying to help you. I need your or any other spider's help. You know what you can do with that wand? She's just gonna use it to steal more art. Rude! I can hear you, clowns. Why won't you help me stop this guy? You're Spider-Man. You've saved the city before. You'll do it again. Spider-Man was right about you. You only care about yourself. Look, kid. Not that it's your business. My girlfriend's in Paris. And I got her into trouble with some bad people. Have you ever done something for love? She needs me now. If only I could figure out how to go more than 10 feet with this thing. MJ said not to trust you. <gasps> Red's a smart one. But you gotta make your own choices, kid. There's a cat! Take her alive! She's yeah. not! You should go! Portal out of here! The instruction manual for this artifact was not clear! And you seem to be getting better at it! Much better enough! We're gonna figure it out! Together! Damn! Lucky attitude, kid! Spider-Man! Not kid, thank you! Alright, Spider-Man! Let's see what you've got! Behind you! That had to hurt! More of them! On the roof! Hey! Use this portal! I have a shot! For what it's worth, appreciate you helping me out! I needed the distraction! In there! This one's mine! They never 
saw you coming. Here. Focus. Think Eiffel Tower. How are we, Felicia? What's up with Felicia? She's safe, for now. Did you finish your story? Just sent it to Jonah. Wish me luck. You got this. Dude, head to Coney Island. What? What's up? You know how Mysterio just got out of prison? Well, he's opening a new attraction there. He could be the hunter's next target. Good call. And guess who else is at Coney tonight? And... <clears throat> crushed on her for like over a year. Come on, bro. Don't bro me, bro. You and Haley are made for each other. If you don't ask her out, you're violating laws of nature. We'll see after we check on Mysterio. <laughs> Gotta change it to Miles first, then I'll scope out the park. Incognito. I don't see any bad guys. Hmm. Now should we take a closer look? <laughs> Hello. I'm Quentin Beck, master illusionist. And this is Betsy, my business partner, and Cole, my technical advisor. And this... is the next generation of entertainment. <laughs> no way, dude. <sighs> Excellent! Cool. A brave young man, ready to experience the future firsthand. Is there anyone else out there with courage in their hearts? Come on, come all, and experience the future! There's a kiosk up ahead. Just keep moving. If you enjoy your experience, please tell your friends and feel free to visit one of the many Mysteriums now open around the city. Our free trial ends soon. Thank you, Betsy. I'm sure you will. Now to customize your experience. 
As you look at these images, I want you to think about your future, your hopes, and your dreams. Ah, yes. I'm getting good data. And we're done. No way! <laughs> Enjoy the show. Don't worry, I'll be watching and listening. If at any time you begin to feel uncomfortable, just let us know. Enjoy your dream come true. All right, let's get it. Song, you might hit a break point in the program. On it! There! You should see an exit. Make your way to the... Okay. Time to go. Are you okay? Yeah. I, I am very sorry. We will do our best to find out what happened. But until then... Miles! <laughs> so, uh, what's up with that? Oh. <laughs> uh, the future of entertainment still has some bugs to work out. Hi, Pete. <laughs> cool shirt. <laughs> cool shoes. Uh, really cool shoes. Cool everything, really. Hey, Miles. Thank you. Uh, guys, this is my best friend, Harry. Uh, he just got back from overseas, and he's starting up a new research foundation. You mean we're starting up a new research foundation? <laughs> hey, good to meet you. Uh, new job, huh? Still gonna have time for tutoring? We'll figure it out. Shall we? Actually, that thing back there really messed my head up. Can we dip? Okay. Nice meeting you, Harry. Yeah, you too. You, 
You good? Yeah. Actually, uh, I'll catch up with you later. Hey, we should really check it on Miles. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, they seem nice. <laughs> Not too bad they're gonna miss out on the best night of our lives, huh? <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Tonight is the greatest hits album of our childhood. And the top three singles, each of our favorite attractions. Welcome. All right, let's do this. Step right up. You have no idea who you're up against. <laughs> Good luck. You'll need it. Now, Pete, you got this. All yeah, right, players. Fingers on the trigger, let's go. eyes on the target. And they're off. The great Coney Island Open returns after three years, and our returning competitors seem to be in the highest of spirits. Harry, what are you doing? Distracting you. Duh. Not that it's working. Oh, that's dirty. Go, Pete! You're taking his side? I don't root for cheaters. Ooh, burn! And our returning champion keeps his crown. <laughs> Hold up. You guys want your prize? Oh, we're good. Thanks. I'd look good in the crown. Next on our top three, MJ Watson featuring the Speed Demon. <laughs> yes. Let's hit the other rides and games on the way. If we do enough of them, we can win something from the prize booth. I knew I read that somewhere. How did I let you talk me into this? Ah, stop and smell the popcorn. How can you think about food right now? You know me, <laughs> I have many talents. Sure. Ooh. Ugh, with the spinning vertigo ride out of the way. <laughs> Forgot how much I loved that one. One more down. Ready for round two, Pete? One of us has to be. Oh, oh, hit. You, oh. you want to play some hoops? Swish, swish, fish. Never knew you were so into basketball, Harry. With all this energy I've had lately, I'm into everything. Oh, there he is. for our ticket. Knock him down is calling our name. Dolphin racing? Maybe some other time. Baby could do it. Heard pyramids are the most stable structure. Let's test that out. I know somebody who blew 20 bucks trying to knock him down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not supposed to be able to do that. And another one's gone. Ready to put our love to the test? Okay, you two go get declared soulmates. I'm gonna fly solo. See if I give off Casanova vibes. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> soulmates, huh? No pressure. What does this thing know about us? Maybe that you should move in with me? Or maybe that everything's too up in the air to think about it yet? Yeah, maybe. Whoa, that can't be right. What is this thing reading anyway? Our body temperature? <laughs> or our skin's pH? Highly doubt it's that sophisticated. Over here, let's do this one next. Go-karts, anyone? <laughs> with your driving? Hard pass. Come on, you two lovebirds. We've got more park to explore. Don't worry, I got you. Is that too 
Moonstone? What is he doing here? Looks like he's a mechanic and saving the day. <laughs> Thanks for pulling me out, man. That could have been really bad. Maybe we should try the roller coaster. <laughs> Moonstone? Mysterio? This park really is a magnet for reformed supervillains. <laughs> yeah. Come on! We still have a little more memory lane to walk down. <laughs> How's it feel? Weirdly high. Or do you mean being this handsome, this charm? Being Peter. Being Peter is nice. I think we could both use more nights like this. Yeah. We always say we will, but... Let's pinky promise this time. Just not right now. Too high. All right. Postponed pinky promise. Yeah. Oh, needed that. It's so relaxing up there. <laughs> Two more. I didn't realize how excited I'd be to ride the speed demon again. I want to go scope out the popcorn situation. You guys want anything? Caramel corn would hit the spot. On it. It's good to be back, Pete. Can I ask you something? Being gone, I've missed a lot. You just lost your job. MJ's got work woes. Are you both... okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. Everything's great. I mean, especially with EMF. We're gonna change the world. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a bag like that? Over there, the guy in the blue shirt. Oh, no, that's, uh, a knockoff. How can you tell from here? Oh, print's too big. The wrong shade of red on the piping. You can see that? Well, it's candy apple. You can see it from the top of the big wheel. Yeah, that is pretty bright. See? I know things. So anything corn-based is a no-go. Hopper's cracked. Oh, man. Damn. Cotton candy, anyone? Can't. Strict diet. Doc's orders. Too sweet for me. I think I'll go see if that claw machine is still finessable like old times. You two coming? We'll catch up in a sec. Glad he's doing what he loves. Killing it at the claw machine? I'm at the foundation. It's great that he gets to make a living helping people. I'll bet your book helped more people than you realize. Always looking on the bright side, huh? Better than the alternative. I don't believe it. Claw Machine has a new high score. Couldn't beat it. Tragic. Incredible. Hey, Harry, want to get that chili dog you were craving yesterday? It's too early for that. I want to cap the evening off devouring as many chili dogs as I can fit in my pie hole. Hey, Hold on, let's do this one. Hey, Pete, this is the best night of my life. Hey, Harry, me too. <laughs> I want to have my birthday here this year. I didn't think I'd get any more of those. There'll be plenty, buddy. <laughs> Great! What a ride! <laughs> Only one more, and that prize is ours. <laughs> What's your secret admirer one? <laughs> Who, Jonah? Nothing. Not a word on my article yet. 
still can't believe he's your boss. Let's just find something to hit. Finally, let's hammer some hydrants. Yeah, let's do it. I know, I told him the same thing. Go for it. I was so loose. I could just get it to grab that one. All right, little Hydras, come out, come out wherever you are. Dude, that's kind of dark. Got you. Look, we're not pigs. I can't exactly threaten to blow their houses down. Have you ever considered, like, I don't know, not dropping sass? I have not, thank you very much. Yes! Take that, you stupid Hydra. Yo, MJ. You good? Great, thanks. Yeah, MJ, show those Hydras who has opposable thumbs. That. So, whose face were you picturing? On the moles? Classic transference. It was totally Jonah's, wasn't it? That's everything. Hey, there's a prize with our name on it. Somewhere else. I'll come over here and How about this prize right here? It's a handbag. Oh, Pete, you know I'm never taking this off, right? You're gonna wear After that to you. the office. Co-founder <laughs> approved. Such a gentleman. Doing okay? I'm really nervous. Don't worry about it. Chances the person Harry gave his prize to would be the single writer sitting next to him. I mean, it would be one heck of a meet cute. Should we tell her? Tell her what? What are you two whispering about up there? <laughs> Just reminding MJ to keep her hands inside the vehicle at all times. Woo! That was epic! <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that. <laughs> All right, fearless leader, what's next? Our last showcase of the night. The muscle up. Oh, you know it, baby. Never did hit that bell, but the dream always kept me coming back. I think this will be the year. <laughs> Myself, but I'm seeing a lot of Spider-Man stuff around recently. Is there something there? Morph suits are pretty affordable. Yes, see, that's why I hired you, Pete. Innovative thinking. So it's settled then. This year's theme, the gang becomes heroes. Perfect. Step right up and test your welcome. Who's up first? Pete, come on. Take it easy, Harry. Don't hurt yourself. The only thing that's gonna hurt is your Parker pride. Boys, boys. You're both pretty.
sorry. <sighs> what? Um, okay. Uh, I guess this really was the year. Harry, that was something else. <sighs> yeah, I have no idea how I did that. Okay, how about we do something more chill? Looks like the Ferris wheel line has died down, son. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let you two go ahead and be cute together. I'm gonna go see if I can win a couple more unicorns. You look really happy. It's funny. Harry's getting a second chance, but I feel like I'm getting one too. You two are gonna make a hell of a team. <laughs> the bugle posted. Did Jonah put you on the front page? Oh, you're gonna be an editor. I should have brought champagne. Hunters and scorpions and explosions, oh my. Jonah posted the new guy story. Oh, MJ, uh, yeah. It already has 5,000 views. <sighs> I've got to write a different kind of story. Win his trust, somehow. Hey, you come up with something. You always do. And, hey, if you need some help from your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'd say we make a hell of a team, too. Even if I do forget the champagne. Next time. This way. Out of the way. Eyes on Tombstone. Tombstone. These hunters, but I don't see him anywhere. Our Ferris will pot is about to touch down. I'll make sure he's safe. And you stay safe too. <laughs> you know I don't go anywhere without my Zimkarian sidekick. Is that what you call your safe stingray? Still workshopping it. I'll let you know when I find him. <laughs> in on the raceway. That's where Tombstone was working. He's tough. So are these guys. 
Hunter, start your engines! And may the best fighter win! I do need to get the ring back. Spider-Man or Tundra? Lucky day. We got both. Tombstone, you just worry about breaking through that net. Talk. See the day. You defend me. You and me both, Lonnie. But these guys, this boss wants you dead. He's a hunter, and he's making supervillains his prey. Guess that he's not open to a call from my parole officer about how I turned my life around. Since he's already killed Scorpion, probably not. Taking the shot. Get the spider off our backs once and for all. Look out! Where are you going? Nice try, Spidey. We're ready this time. Oh no. I'm 
sorry, Lonnie. I really do want to help you. We sure do. Spider-Man? I know, I know. But first, what are those things coming out of you? I think it's my treatment. <laughs> Dr. Connor said it's some kind of self-learning exosuit, but I had no idea it could... Wait. You know what this means, right? We both have superpowers. Just think about all the stuff we could do to heal the world! Sorry. I, uh, guess I still gotta figure out how this thing works. Well, it's a real shame neither of us has a state-of-the-art science lab to run some tests. I'll go make sure the coast is clear. Meet you there. Give me a call when you're ready.
saw what happened at Coney. What was that? Well, uh, remember my friend Harry? Yeah? That was him? How? Honestly, no idea. I think it's this treatment he's been... Oh, that's Harry. Gotta go. Hey, I cleared out the foundation. All right, I'll swing by. <laughs> swing by. Man, how many times have you said that minute literally? Code says Unk hit a stash here. My pleas for peace have been rejected by calls for violence. From, you know it, Spider Man. An attack on what was once a destination for enjoyment now stands desecrated and defiled. Our cherished Coney Island was victim to a free for all brawl destroying iconic attractions and history itself. Some of my fondest memories were at Coney Island. My father used to buy me the nickel pop and hot dog combo, and I, like any self-respecting American, would overindulge. Now, it's all been taken from me. To make matters worse, Spider-Man seems to have brought a new friend along for his night on the town. Just what this city needs. Another vigilante to take the law into their own hands. One person wasn't enough for you to corrupt Spider-Man. You need two acolytes to do your bidding. Add to the pile of unpleasantness the hunters and reformed criminal Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone, and you have a recipe for the ruination of any normal person just trying to have a night out. These hunters are clearly after the Spider-Man and any of their accomplices. They're as much a blight on this city as the heroes protecting it. I'm sure old glory Mayor Grant loves what this does for tourism. I can pull that steam pipe up. my stash at the old radio station. Was wondering where I was. That station was the hottest ticket in Brooklyn for up-and-coming hip-hop artists back in the day. You and Pops get any airtime? We got close, but they bumped us last minute for this next level group out of Staten Island. Still got your beats if you want them. <laughs> NYC ain't ready for a prowler spotty mixtape. Take it easy, kid. I hope Unk starts making music again. It'll be a good distraction for him. Thanks, Miles. Science time. These wind turbines are tiny but mighty. Once deployed on high altitude currents, they are a potentially self-sustaining source of clean power. Eventually, they'll shuttle back and forth to a dock. But right now, we're looking for a way to place these for an initial test run. I think I can get these up to the right altitude with the webways. They don't call it Brooklyn Heights for nothing. Yeah. 
Here we go! Huh. Web wings alone aren't getting me enough lift. I need a little push. The intersection of Court and Montague is super windy. I've certainly lost enough papers walking through there. Let's use that as a natural wind tunnel. This is really high. Now to deploy. Fly free, little turbine. Kabam! One more! There we go! Great! They're all happily launched. I'll just head back. The turbine's been compromised? What? How? Need to check on that. I gotta get up there. Palindrome's attacking the turbine. I've gotta stop them. Again. I really wish we'd stop meeting like this. Stay out of my way, and we weren't hot. Uh, really? I'm in your way? this turbine back in place. There. All up and running. I should make sure Dr. Wynn sets up some turbine security for these. You guys need help with that? Shouldn't you guys be in an hourglass or something? All clear now. You're circling me, Miha. Oh, wishing I just stayed home with you and came here. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. Marco fell right into their trap. But wait, Kimia's his kid? How did I not know about this? Just check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving. Making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work. are to be believed. These Spider-Men have grown more powerful than we feared. Magic portals, subway cars disappearing off the tracks, fire engines flying through the night sky, and the newer Spider-Man at the center. Webbing and property damage weren't enough. Now we add mystical arts into the mix. 
Does their desire for destruction know no bounds? I almost feel sorry for this lost soul, groomed for a life of criminality and degradation. Speaking of it, it seems Spider-Man was cohorting with notorious thief, the Black Cat. Their costumes must be cut from the same corrupt cloth. If their entanglement doesn't paint a clear enough picture of Spider-Man's intent, then here's a little story for you. The Spider-Men show up, and the group we now know as the Hunters follow. Clearer now? These Spider-Men are magnets for malefactors. Now, the Black Cat seems to have vanished. Good riddance! If magic is indeed real, then we must hope upon hope that someone out there is using it for good and will erase the stain in our city known as the Spider-Men. May we go one day without another spider incident. I thought it was old when I was a kid, but now it's just amazing the history that's in this city. A sand crystal. More Marco memories scattered all over New York. Hear me, Marco! Not interested in a puppet show! Sandman for his daughter. And Craven forced it out of him for a stupid hunt. See what else this thing can do. What are you doing? Science, buddy. I'm doing science. <laughs> so, Spider Man, you told MJ, but not your best friend? To protect you. 
I, I wanted to. Right. Yeah, I get it. And that kid you're tutoring, he's the other one? Uh, a lot happened while you were in that tank. Trust me. I know. <laughs> nice and gentle. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. It looks like it's gonna be a long night. What the hell happened here? Um, we were, we were just, uh, doing some experiments. Where's Dr. Connors? Uh, maybe he took the day off? No. He doesn't take days off. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call you later. 